Hey guys, welcome back. Um, before I do anything, I just want to start off this episode with pointing out that I did a little bit of off-screen training since the last episode. Uh, Tiny Wings was at level 62, I believe, and I spent some time um, training it up. Net's now 68. I wanted to optimize my chances of getting through the Elite Four in one shot, so I figured I should train it up a little bit more just to be safe. Um, let's go ahead and put away everybody else in the party in the PC. Definitely not going to need HMs in the Elite Four, so um, just go ahead and get rid of everybody else for now. can grab them after we're done. There's uh, Krabby, our starter at level 6, and both Waterfalls. <laughs> Got two of them for double the action, even though only one of them can actually learn Waterfalls, so that was kind of a fail. And alright, I think we're ready to go. And one other thing I noticed while I was training is I had one rare candy that I picked up somewhere randomly, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. May as well, it seems like a good time for it. And that takes us to a solid level 69. I think that's a, a good sign, that's a kind of some good luck that I'm going to need to beat the Elite Four. And I think this is the perfect level to take them on at, so let's go. Here we go. Gate ominously closes behind us. And here's Will. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Will. I've trained all around the world, making psychic Pokemon powerful, and at last I've been accepted into the Elite Four. You can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Alright, so all the people in the Elite Four have their teams based around a certain type. Uh, there's a couple, like uh, the champions, and I think like first, uh, fourth, and fifth generation that have a team that's not based on one specific type. It's kind of like just an all-round team, um, which makes sense. I feel like the champion is the strongest trainer, should have a well-balanced team. But anyway, uh, most uh, trainers in the Elite Four have a team based around one type. This guy's obviously Psychic, and he's leading off with his first Zatu. Gonna start off with the Confuse Ray, which is kind of a pain. Let's see if we can just quick attack through that without any problems. Nope, nope, we can't. Come on, Tiny Wings, this is not a good start. Let's get it together. All right, take a Psychic. I'm hopeful that's not gonna do a whole lot. And yeah, that's fine. All right, let's try that again. And this is really not a good start at all. All right, um, I'm gonna have to heal just to be safe. Luckily, I bought 32 hyper potions, so I don't think we're gonna run out of healing items anytime soon. All right, let's uh, let's snap out of this confusion. There we go. Quick attack for the win. Killed the Zatu. And there goes our uh, first Pokemon we need to kill. <laughs> One out of like 26. That's a solid start. All right, here's a Jinx. Um, hopefully we can kill that before it does much damage to us. It's probably going to know some Ice-type moves, so we're going to want to kill that as quickly as possible. I meant to use Wing Attack there, but apparently Quick Attack will work. Lovely Kiss. Crap, I think that puts you to sleep. Yeah, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a Full Restore. Uh, they're probably the best healing items overall in the game, because they heal you all the way and get rid of status conditions. The only problem is they're really expensive. They're like 3,000. So I usually don't buy a ton of those, and I just invest in a bunch of Hyper Potions and uh, Full Heals to do the same job. But sometimes, at least in battle when you're in a tough fight, it's nice to be able to heal a status condition and get back to full health in one shot. So that's what the floor stores are good for. Alright, here's a Slowbro. Um, kind of funny side note on Slowbro. Recently, uh, on Sanchi.com, cool website, uh, I bought a shirt that I'm pretty uh, happy with. It's a pic it's got a picture of a slow poke, but this one instead of evolving into a slow bro, evolved into a slow bro. And so basically, it's uh, wearing a uh, pink uh, polo that's uh, got a popped collar, of course, a uh, backwards baseball cap, and it's holding a pitcher of beer. So I thought that was pretty excellent and uh, needed to be purchased. Best ten dollars I ever spent. Anyway, um, wear that proudly at school. It's been good. Yeah, here's his second Zatu. This one's a little bit stronger, level 42. I guess this was like his firstborn or something. He just decided to give it some preferential treatment. Leveled it up more than all the rest of his guys. And hopefully we can do the same thing to this guy. And it's going to copy its predecessor and use Confuse Ray. That's kind of a pain. Um, let's uh, not get hurt by Confusion this time. That'd be chill. Alright, um, that's one other thing the Elite Four is going to do a lot and be annoying. Whenever one of their guys gets into usually red or sometimes low yellow health, uh, they usually heal them, so you kind of have to plan for that and watch out for it. Uh, let's try attacking again. Damn it. Alright. Gonna 
heal to be safe. Don't want to lose this challenge early on for something stupid and trying to be cocky. Special defense fell, that's not good. Alright, got rid of the confusion, good stuff. Throw in a wing attack, and one more wing attack will do it, as long as we don't get confused again or something dumb like that. Alright, good, he just went for the psychic, that's a, just a damaging move, so no chance of confusion. Uh, quick attack this thing for the kill, and let's see what his last guy is. An executor. Alright, I'm gonna heal to be safe, even though I think I can kill this in one hit with the wing attack. And let's try it. Uh, it's part grass, so I really think we can kill it. Yep. You and your three coconut heads, get out of here. Okay, so we're uh, 1 for 5. Or if you want to look at Pokemon, I guess 5 for 26 that we've killed. That's a decent start. Even though it's defeated, I won't change my course. I'll continue the battle until I stand above all trainers. Now, experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Alright, so yeah, he's the weakest one. They kind of, you know, understandably uh, get a little stronger in level as you go. So he was, like, he had mainly level 40s. I think Koga has, like, level probably 42 or 43, generally. So yeah, the guys in the Elite Four, there was Will, who was Psychic. This guy is Koga, um, who has Poison types. Then there's Bruno, who has Fighting. Then Karen, who has Dark. And, of course, Lance with his dragons. So, um, this guy likes to use status conditions, which is kind of a pain. Pokemon is nearly about brute force, you should see soon enough. Yeah, he likes to use poison and sleep and stuff like that. So hopefully we can avoid that as much as possible. And um, this uh, guy, Koga, incidentally, he, in the original games, red and blue and yellow, I suppose, uh, he was the gym leader in Fuchsia City, the fifth gym. But I guess in the meantime, in the couple years between uh, when these games out, or when these games came out, sorry, um, he got promoted to the Elite Four, he stepped his game up apparently, and now in Fuchsia City, when we get there eventually, um, his, or the gym leader there is now his daughter, so that's kind of cool. Alright, here's a fortress, uh, it, it is a fortress, I mean, it has really high defenses, it's hard to kill, it doesn't really do much damage though, so we're just gonna keep wing attacking it until it dies, it actually did a pretty good amount, it's a uh, bug steel type, so flying type is actually neutral against it. Uh, because of its steel typing, most things aren't very effective against it, so that combined with its high defenses make it a bitch to kill. Um, wing attack looks like it's doing a pretty good job though, so I'm just going to stick with that. And there it goes. Um, yeah, it holds up pretty... Fortress holds up pretty well against anything that's not a fire type. But uh, Tiny Wings takes it down all the same, and here's his muck. I'm just going to stick with the same strategy here. Wing attacking is going to be my best bet overall in general. Um, okay, so that does a pretty good amount, and we should be able to kill it with one more as long as we can hit. Minimize is gonna up its uh, evasion, which sucks. Oh, we still got it. Sucky bitch. I forgot in this game that when you use minimize, it actually changes the sprite of the enemy to that little uh, dot on the screen, which is kind of funny. Um, anyway, here's this Crobat, which is like his signature guy. Crobat's pretty cool, honestly. I like it a lot. I've actually used it before in uh, some of my teams. And when you get it as a Zubat, it kind of sucks, but if you actually bring it all the way to a Crobat, it gets pretty good. Alright, his is going to use Double Team though, which I hate. It, it does the same thing as Minimize. Just makes it hard to hit and annoying. But uh, Tiny Wings ain't got time for that, then he's just going to hit anyway and take it down. Alright, this battle is going swimmingly. And just one more, and it is a Venomoth, which we're super effective against, so I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. Just wing attack that thing. And I believe that will take it down. Let's see. Yep, Dunsky. Alright, so Koga's done. So we are now 2 for 5. Or 10 for 26, I guess. I don't know why I keep bringing up that other statistic, but... Eh. Alright, my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Will do. Door opens door closes and we have some more orange Fanta delicious um, yeah I mean I like that stuff I can understand why they use it so much in this game pretty solid drink and let's go fight Bruno I'm Bruno the Elite Four I was trained to the extreme because I believe in our potential that is how we become strong can you withstand our power mm, I see no fear in you you look determined perfect for battle ready yeah I'm ready hoo-ha Alright, um, so I never saw the movie Bruno, I think it was made by the same people that made uh, Borat, I, 
I feel like some parts of it look kind of funny, but some parts were just super cringeworthy, so I never ended up seeing it. Anyway, he's going to lead out with a uh, Hitmontop, which uh, the way you get Hitmontop is kind of weird. Uh, it's pre-evolved form, a Tyrogue can evolve into Hitmontop, Hitmonlee, or Hitmonchan at level 20. And I believe it's based on attack and defense stat. I might be wrong here, but I think if when it hits level 20, if its attack is higher than its defense, it evolves into a Hitmonlee. Level 70, by the way. If its uh, defense is better than its attack, it evolves into a Hitmonchan. And if its uh, defense and attack are equal, it evolves into a Hitmontop. So it's kind of an interesting evolution. Anyway, here's Onyx, which just always sucks. Um, we fought those plenty in the game already. You know what the deal is here. Uh, Sandstorm. Cool. I really wish that whenever you use Sandstorm in these games, the song Sandstorm would start playing. Uh, I feel like that would add some awesome, some atmospheric, uh, like a, a good atmospheric touch. I would use Sandstorm all the time just to hear that. It'd be a, a good battling song. Anyway, we're going to take this rock slide, hopefully, without taking too much damage. It might hurt quite a bit, actually. And... Oh, that was a crit. Okay, well, if we can take a crit, then we're fine. I'm going to have to heal up next turn just to be safe. Since the Sandstorm is doing damage. It's hitting me with all its dubs, all its uh, dubstep beats. Anyway, we're gonna heal up, take a rock slide, take a sandstorm, and continue attacking. And one more wing attack ought to do it. And there we go. All right, hit Monchan. Sandstorm went away. Good stuff. Gonna heal up. Ice punch. Okay, yeah, hit Monchan. Uh, they learned the three elemental punches: ice punch, fire punch, thunder punch. That's pretty cool. So an ice punch or a thunder punch is gonna be super effective, but its uh, attacks aren't its attack set isn't that good. Its defenses are pretty high, so that's why that uh, ice punch didn't really do a whole lot. All right, here's his Machamp with its beastly forearms. But it's got pretty uh, beastly forearms on all of its forearms as well. Just gonna throw that out there. Anyway, we are gonna wing attack that thing and hopefully take it down. And there it is. Incidentally, getting Machamp is kind of annoying, especially on an emulator, because you have to trade a Machop, or sorry, a Machoke, and when it when you trade it, and the person receives it, it evolves. I don't really like Pokemon that evolve like that, but anyway, um, his last guy is a Hitmonlee, so we're gonna take that down. I really like the uh, naming on Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I, I assume it's gotta be intentional. I mean, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. I, that, that's gotta be. Anyway, uh, good job, Nintendo. Good job. I, I commend you for that. That's pretty funny. And there goes Bruno. That's definitely going to be our easiest fight in the Elite Four since he has primarily, apart from that Onyx, he has all fighting types. And those, uh, those really got nothing on Tiny Wings as it's a flying type. So we, before we move on uh, and fight Karen here, I'm just going to rant for a second. So you know that, uh, that little update that comes out on your computer, like in the bottom right hand corner sometimes, saying that, uh, you know, um, this computer really wants to shut down because it wants to install some updates. So when I was uh, capturing this video earlier, that apparently came up and decided to just turn off the computer while I was in the middle of the episode, right about here last time. So, um, yeah, you, you can kind of see how that would be bad. I didn't want to make you guys watch through the first three Elite Four members again, so I went ahead and just kind of did that on my own. It went, it went about the same as last time. Uh, luckily, I was able to salvage the footage uh, from the first time I did it, which is what you've been watching up to this point. Um, yeah, it went about the same. Let's just see. Uh, yeah, I, I need to heal up real fast. And um, we're just going to start out here with Karen. Sorry about that. Uh, my, my computer's retarded. But you didn't really miss anything, and I liked the audio from the first time. I didn't really want to just restart from the beginning. So here we go. Let's fight Karen. I'm Karen of the Elite Four. Um, I love dark type Pokemon. I find their wild tough image to be so appealing and they're so strong. Think you can take them? Just try and entertain me. Let's go. Alright, so I'm pretty sure they added Karen in, um, kind of just showcase dark types. Uh, this gold and silver were the first games where they introduced uh, both dark and steel type for the first time. And I don't think there are enough steel types to have uh, a member of the Elite Four completely based around steel, but they definitely had enough for dark. Um, that's why Karen's here. She's going to lead off with an Umbreon, which is kind of a tank. This is probably going to take a while to kill it. Um, yep. This is going to be a three-hit kill. And it leads off with a Sand Attack, which sucks, because normally I would get rid of that accuracy penalty by swapping out into somebody else. But we can't switch out here, so we're just going to have to deal with that and hope we don't miss too much. All right, take a Faint Attack. At least it has pretty low uh, attack, so it's not going to do much damage. 
Um, yep, there we go. Quick attack it for the win. Uh, back to the uh, kind of new type discussion. Dark and Steel have been the uh, only new types introduced since the original, I think, what, like, 15? And um, that is up until they announced that for Black and White, I'm sorry, not Black and White, 6th Gen, what I'm talking about, X and Y, they're introducing Fairy type, which I don't know that I'm a huge fan of. Um, I'm glad they made it super effective against Dragon, at least. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's some good balancing. But I wish they'd called it, if nothing else, I wish they'd called it something different, like light type or something. You know, it was already a dark type, that would make sense to me. But fairy just seems kind of lame. But, I mean, I'm sure I'll still play it, and it'll be fun, and I'll love it, but if they'd called it something else, it would've been nice. Alright, so there goes the Murkrow. Um, Gengar had a curse in on us, so hopefully this battle doesn't drag on too much, or that is going to kind of screw us over. Um, here's her Houndoom, which is one of my favorite Pokemon, and it's really strong, so I'm kind of worried that it's going to take us out with a flamethrower or something, but um, I'll just wing attack, see how much it does, and see what Houndoom is going to do. Yeah, there's that curse, which I'm worried about, because it does a lot of damage. Alright, so there's flamethrower, and that does a lot. I'm going to have to heal. And she also healed, so that was a super productive turn. <laughs> Alright, wing attack again. And just about take the flamethrower. Uh, crap. Alright, um, I think I have to go for it and go for the quick attack, because if I try and heal, she's just going to keep doing this cycle of flamethrowing me, and, let's see. Yes! Alright, we killed it. Sweet. Uh, now I just have to deal with whatever her last Pokemon is, which is a Vile Plume, which is awesome, because that is easy. Um, it's part grass type, so we can kill that pretty effectively. Uh, yep, yeah, it even missed the Paralyze. Sweet. So we can get rid of that, no problem. It's not a dark type, by the way, I think it's just Poison Grass, but they needed something else to round out her team, since the four Pokemon she had were the only four dark types that they introduced, I think. Actually, no, there's... I don't know why she doesn't have a Sneasel on her team, actually. That's part... That's Dark Ice. That's weird. I don't know why she doesn't have that. That would make more sense. Anyway, Karen is done. So, now we beat the Elite Four, technically. We just have to take on the Champion, which is going to be the hardest part. Uh, Lance has got six Pokemon, and he's the Dragon guy. He only actually has three Dragon-type Pokemon, and they're all the same. They're all Dragonites. But that's still going to be pretty tough. And his other three Pokemon are the Pokemon that, while they're not Dragon type, they kind of look like dragons, honestly. Um, he's got like a Charizard, Gyarados, and Aerodactyl. So, Deep Breath, and Champion Battle. So here we are, finally at Lance. There's some dragon statues around for some nice, a nice atmospheric touch. And here he is. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Alright, cue the epic music here. I mean, I really like this uh, champion battle music. I'm going to try not to talk over it too much. I mean, I say that, but I'm totally going to. Alright, so here's a Gyarados. Um, I don't understand why this thing is flying type. It should be water dragon. That would be cool. Crap, we forgot to use an elixir. Shit. Alright, um, I'm going to have to do that pretty soon. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it now, actually, because I think Gyarados is probably his weakest guy. Um, go ahead and max elixir. Get all our PP back, since we are almost out of wing attacks. Take a surf. And wing attack. Level 70. That shows how overleveled we are, that beating all of the Elite Four up until Lance, we only gained one level. Alright, um, so here's his first Dragonite. I'm a little worried that this thing might know Thunder, since he just used Rain Dance, that means Thunder's gonna always hit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Wing Attack anyway, I think we can probably take a Thunder, maybe. Oh, it's gonna Thunder Wave, that's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna Quick Attack, because that means I still go first, even though I'm paralyzed. That's why I keep that move around. And he's going to Thunder. Let's see if we can live that. I really hope so. Come on, Tiny Wings. Holy shit. 1 HP. Okay, that was that was a little uh, sketch. Let's go ahead and full restore. And the rain's gone, which means Thunder can miss now, which I might have to rely on before I can attack again. Hyper Beam. I didn't see that coming either. Shit. 
Uh, that's actually probably gonna be less than Thunder, so yeah, never mind. That, that's good. Thank you, Dragonite. Gonna go ahead and wing attack. You know what? I should have used that turn to heal. That was stupid. Oh well. Okay, well, there's one Dragonite down out of three. And what's next? Dragonite number two. <laughs> what a coincidence. Okay, um, gonna go ahead and do the same thing, I guess. Start out with a wing attack. Um, I think this one also knows something strong that's gonna be super effective. I think it is Blizzard, maybe? Whoa, okay, that was a crit. I was wondering how that did so much. And Blizzard missed. Awesome. Quick attack. Well, that one was easy. Let's do that again. Alright, let's see. What is next? Gigant number three. Nope, Aerodactyl. Alright, this thing could also be kind of rough because it's part rock type, so it's going to resist flying type moves. Um, let's just see how much a wing attack does. I'm hoping it'll be at least like a three hit kill, maybe? Yeah, that's looking like maybe a three hit kill. Rock Slide's going to hurt, though. Yeah, that hurt a lot. I'm going to have to heal. Luckily, Rock Slack... Rock Slide is also somewhat inaccurate, so I'm going to hope it misses at some point. That'd be good. Alright, uh, that does less than half, though, so we can safely attack again. And I should... Alright. Let's weather this Rock Slide. And... Yep, we're good. Alright, and I'm going to finish it off with one last Wing Attack. Better kill it. Sweet. Okay. Gonna need to heal next turn. Um, what's next? I guess probably Charizard. Yeah. So Charizard's awesome. I don't need to tell anybody watching this that, but definitely one of the best guys ever. 10 out of 10 would do business again. So we're gonna heal up, probably take a flamethrower. I'm assuming that's what it's gonna use. Yeah, that's kind of one of its more signature moves. Um, but it does less than half, so we're free to keep attacking, thankfully. Gonna wing attack. And that's looking like a two-hit kill. Awesome. Okay, so take a flamethrower. And safe. Alright, there's the wing attack for the kill. And on to his last guy, his level 50 Dragonite. All of his Dragonites are totally cheated, or <laughs> obtained in an illegal man manner, by the way, because... Dragonair definitely evolves at level 55, and all his guys are well below that, so... Outrage, that's gonna hurt. It's not super effective or anything, it's just a really strong move. Um, I, well, I don't know how much... In later games, it's 120 power. I think in this game it might be more like 80 or 90, but it's... Dragon-type move, so it gets stabbed, and Dragonite has a great attack stat, so... Anyway, it does less than half, though, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. As long as it doesn't crit, we're fine. And it doesn't. Um, I need to heal, and one good thing about Outrage is that, at least good for us, is that uh, after either two or three turns, the user gets confused, so I'm going to hope that that happens. There it is. Maybe it'll hurt itself. Yes! Okay, um, I think we might be able to finish off with a fly. It's going to be close. Safeguard. Okay, I, I didn't see that coming, but alright, that doesn't really matter. That just prevents it from status moves, like being poisoned or something. Yes! Fuck yes! Killed it. Whew. Whew. Alright, we beat the Elite Four, guys. Holy shit. At level 70, Tiny Wings defeats Champion Lance. It's over. Yeah, it is. Not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. Whew. Oh, he said it for me. Woo, okay. You become truly powerful. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Alright. Ah, uh, who the fuck are you, Mary? Get out of here. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow, you old man. Nah, Oak's cool. Oak's cool. Alright, yep, uh, my conquest is fantastic. Thank you, knew that. Pokemon were outstanding, yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nope, let's not interview the champion. Screw that. Lance agrees. Alright, this is getting noisy. Could you come with me? Alright, I think this would be a great place for uh, the game to cue the song uh, Hall of Fame by, I think, the script. That'd be great. Right at this moment. So here's the Hall of Fame. It's been a while since he last came here. Uh, this is where we honor the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are inducted. So here we go. 
we are the Pokemon League champion. Fuck yeah. Alright, if you can register my, uh, my Pokemon, that'd be, that'd be okay. My one Pokemon. See, that machine is supposed to fill up in all six slots, but, uh, we don't have six slots. Just one. Just tiny wings. Okie doke. 18 hours in. I mean, 18 hours is kind of not really true because with the emulator, it, that's not real time. But anyway, 165 Pokemon seen, 6 owned. Professor X rating. Look for more Pokemon in grassy areas. Yeah, that's supposed to be the rating he gives you like at the very beginning of the game, and you're supposed to advance past that, but we didn't. So here's the credits. Um, I'm gonna speed through this. I might just cut this actually. I don't know if I want you guys to sit through this. Although it's super speed, it's really not that bad. The end. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode, guys. We finally beat the Elite Four. Uh, don't worry. We are definitely coming back for more. And next episode, I'm going to uh, take a ship to Kanto and check that place out. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later in Kanto.